Hello guys, this is Silent Creator and today I'm gonna show you how to downgrade your Grand Theft Auto San Andreas from 3.0 to 1.0 for the best version. You're gonna need to check the link I will give you in the description and come to this page which would say Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Downgrader. You come down to the page until you see download stub version updates itself with patches. You must download that, I've already downloaded it. But it's gonna be one I guess. You open it, agree to the terms, could not detect your path. Now it might download some files before it say it could not detect your path but that's alright because I've already downloaded it myself. Now you detect your Steam version of the game, the 3.0 or the 2.0 German version or whatever version you have that you can mod. Click on the executable it's gonna scan a bit it says Steam R2 US version which is from 2014 and it removed a lot of uh, songs and it has a lot of bugs like 25 FPS bug limiter and we're gonna fix all of that with the downgrader and I'm gonna make sure your game is moddable or you're gonna play San Andreas multiplayer with it with no problem. Okay, the scan is completed. Now for the essential modifications, I must recommend LC Loader, Silent Patch, uh, as you loader make sure you can load as modes required by the most mods silent patch fixes a lot of bugs and especially that 25 fps bug when you put the frame limiter mod, mod loader for the new mods that require mod loader remastered GUI it will show the difference between the GUI itself like the texture it shows up in a higher texture Project 2DFX, make sure you can configure the lightning draw distance settings so you can make it even sharper and longer, but that depends on your computer. The widescreen fix is essential for those who are having 16 by 9 monitors. G input is essential for those who are playing the game with a controller. San Andreas multi Death Auto is optional. Sky GFX, so you can bring the PS2 graphics. And now, CMP graphics restore is required for anyone who is using the San Andreas multiplayer and Sky GFX. So it won't give you that red sky bug or any other bugs uh, graphic wise towards when you're playing multiplayer. Now that you've selected your mods that you want, you click downgrade. It would ask if you want a copy. I would say yes. And I would point it at my other hard drive and I will make myself a new folder that I will call Grand Theft Auto San Andreas 1.0. Okay, and it will ask you if you're sure that your game will be transferred. You say yes. And it's going to take a while to move all the stuff that's required because that's another 3 gigabytes. But I'm sure it's going to be faster than downloading the game. So let's just chill for a while. Would you like to create retail registry entries to your gamepad? Yes. Now it's gonna patch properly. Success, success, success. That's what I like to see. 
the default settings for Sky GFX adds blur to replicate PS2 graphics. Now that depends on your personal opinion if you like motion blur or not. I personally don't like motion blur, so I'm gonna say yes. I want the downgrader to turn this off for me, but if you like motion blur, you are gonna click no. Sky GFX has a lot of num settings that can be configured. No, I don't want to configure them. And it's gonna say that if you want to configure them later, you can find it at this exact location where you've just downgraded your game. Okay, and it's gonna ask the same thing for GA input. Yes. Now I don't want to read the README, but okay, the downgrader is done, but I want to change something. Now, if you're using PlayStation 4 controller or even some kind of a replica of a PlayStation 3 controller and you want to have the PlayStation buttons, you will change this option PlayStation buttons equals zero to one. Now, if you want to have the Xbox button pad, you keep them, uh, you keep it at zero, that option. You save. Now, let's say that you're done downgrading, but you can't play with your old save games. Now, what you're going to do is going to enter that link I gave you in the description, GTA S&P. Click that, click your save games from GTA San Andreas user files. Please wait, uploading, save information. It's going to say everything about your save game, even though mine is 1.0. Let's say, for example, this is a 3.0 save or 2.0 you're gonna change this option binary exe version from 2.0 or even German 2.0 to unmodified. And you're gonna say which slot do you want exactly. I'm gonna say for example 4 and I'm gonna put it back to my documents and where the game is located for you. Now that's it. You've downgraded to 1.0 and you have your save games working correctly and you can install mods from now on. I hope my tutorial was useful. You can leave a like rating if it deserves that. Dislike if you didn't like it. And comments if you want more tutorials out of me. Bye bye.